Hi guys, it's Chrissy and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. So today we're actually going to be building a community lot for Windenburg, for my rebuild Windenburg project for the save file that I'm working on. And this build is actually one that I meant to have up on Valentine's Day, but yeah, it just took me quite a bit longer to finish than I thought it would, so I didn't manage to get it up on Valentine's Day. But we're doing it like a week later and I think it's totally fine because it's not really super Valentine's Day themed. Like, it's not like the like really pink and cutesy bowls that I did last year for Valentine's Day. It's a bit more normal looking because it will be in my save file. There's a kind of like Valentine's Day themed garden, but I mean I don't think it looks super out of place or anything. So yeah, this is going to be a wedding chapel for Windenburg. It's in the countryside of Windenburg. I believe it's on the lot that the Munch family used to live on. And I will just move them to a like, completely different lot in the world and or something like that. But yeah, I meant to have the Munch family still live on this lot. But then I built this and I thought I really, really liked it. And it's something that... I don't really have anything like it in my save file so far, so I thought it would work very well, very well for it. So yeah, this will be in the save file. It's completely CC free and totally functional and everything like that. It's not, not just a decorative build or anything. It's like a wedding chapel, but basically it functions as a lounge. And I think you, no, you probably won't be able to have it function as a bar because there's no TV on it. But you could easily have it function as a lounge. It works completely fine as one and everything like that. And I built this basically as a wedding venue. I built it to be a wedding venue for my sims. And I mean, I've already used this personally. I've used this for the current, for like the big sister challenge that we're playing with over on Twitch. I actually had her get married there. And I've used it for one of my current households, like off camera as well. And it works really well for that. It has everything your Sims could need. It has a functional kitchen inside in case, you know, you forget to, make, forget to make a cake or something like that. Or you have a caterer or anything like that. There's two bathrooms. The, like, wedding arch, like the, like, ceremony area, I guess, is inside the church. And then outside in the grounds, I make this, like, under, like, undercover, I guess, like, I don't know, I guess, like, I don't know what you would call it. It's not really a gazebo, but maybe something like it. Basically just this undercover area that has a roof on it. It has a glass roof on it actually with from those like glass floor pieces that came with Island Living. I actually used those. So the roof, the, it doesn't look like the like reception area has a roof on it, but it actually does basically. But yeah, the reception area is going to be in the front of the church, like undercover. Really, really pretty. I really like it. It's kind of like an outdoorsy kind of wedding venue. And it's probably not the best if you have your sims get married in like the dead of winter. <laughs> because, I mean, inside the church, like inside the chapel, it'll, it'll be fine. Like the ceremony area. But the reception area might be a little bit cold during the winter. Especially considering that it is in Windenburg, so it'll probably snow quite a lot. So yeah, your sims might decide to change out of their like wedding outfits into their cold weather outfits or something like that. But I mean, you could ha easily have like a summer wedding or even a spring wedding here or something. Or you could just do what I do and I always turn my... I always give my sims an extra cold weather outfit if I know they're going to a wedding or something. And their extra cold weather outfit, I'll make it be like a super fancy, like dressy outfit. In my personal game, like my current households, I've even gone so far to as to give my like female sims their wedding dresses under the cold weather category in Creator Sim. So the game thinks they're wearing their like cold winter outfit when in fact they're actually wearing a wedding dress, which is really handy, especially if you have your sims have like a winter wedding or something like that that's outdoors. The game will still pick it up as them being like really warmly dressed and they won't get cold or anything, but you can still have your sims being really pretty clothes. So yeah, that's a like handy tip that I have that I use quite a lot. But yeah, so we've moved on to doing the interior of this church. And like I said, it's completely functional. I've playtested all of it. Everything works. 
And yeah, the interior of this church is basically just the wedding arch, some chairs, and the two bathrooms are on the, on the left, and the kitchen is on the right. So yeah, it's completely functional, like I said. I didn't really know how to decorate it, because this isn't something that I'm really used to building, so I kind of just went for... I don't know what I went for, basically. I just built, and... I decided that I liked how it turned how it was turning out so yeah we just we have a kind of random looking like chapel but I like the way it looks in the game and I guess that's all that matters because it is in the game it's not supposed to be a super realistic recreation of like a real chapel or anything like that it's basically just a place for your sims to get married I bought this with the main intention of it being for like a wedding like like event basically and yeah i want also p try to pay attention to the fact that i wanted to have some nice like screenshot angles so if you do have your sims get married here you can take some nice screenshots of them and stuff like that that's one of the big things that i paid attention to and when it comes to me doing the like landscaping for this build i did cut quite a bit of it out i think uh, yeah, I think I cut quite a bit of it out. I cut out me placing those rocks on the outside around the, like, foundation. At first, I wanted to use terrain tools, but it just didn't look the way I wanted it to look. And I knew it was going to be a pain to try and landscape the build if I have, like, terrain tools and stuff on it. So, I just decided to, for the first time, actually play around with those debug rocks that... I think the ones that I'm using actually came with Get Together, so yeah, they're basically like these cliffs that you can raise up and down. They look really, really great if you want to make these kind of like cliff, almost cliff faces. Like I wanted to make the church look like it was a little bit raised, like built on a little bit of a, like a hill or a cliff or something. It's just weird, but I really like the way it look uh, looks and I, it took me quite a while to figure it out and to place them all in a way that I liked because I'm super like perfectionistic when it comes to stuff like that. I need to have them look a particular way and it might take me like 40 minutes to try and get them to look that way but I will do it. <laughs> I just didn't record me doing it because I don't think you guys needed to sit through that because I went back and changed it so many times. And then, yeah, like I said, I cut out some of the landscaping because I played around quite a bit with some debug landscaping. And then the flowers that I end up putting in, like, the front yard of the church. So basically, if you look at the church from the front, there's, on the left-hand side, will be, like, the reception area. And then on the right-hand side, there's a fountain and, like, the garden area where you can take your sims and have them pose for, like, pretty screenshots or whatever. But yeah, that area is basically like a picture-taking area if you wanted to use it like that. But yeah, that's the area that's a little bit more like Valentine's Day themed. I use a bunch of like red and pink and white flowers in this build. And then like I said, I do use quite a few like debug items as well. So I did cut that out mainly because it was super repetitive and it was just really boring to watch honestly. Even me placing the flowers was really boring to watch because I made these... I made circles and heart shapes out of the flowers. So yeah, you guys will see it once we get to it. I think I show like half of it and then the other half... You guys can just see in the screenshots at the end because I do put in a lot of screenshots of the build and everything like that. So yeah, we've moved on to the like reception. I guess you'd call this like a gazebo area. I don't know. I don't know what classifies as a gazebo, <laughs> honestly. But basically this is the reception area. So in the reception area we have a bar, we have a DJ like DJ booth and a dance floor. I end up adding a buffet table as well. So you don't need to have a caterer come to the lot. Because I know in the game caterers are really really useless. And they almost never actually do what they're supposed to do. So yeah I just ended up adding in a buffet table. A buffet table that came with I think luxury party stuff or something. And I don't know I just like. I prefer using those um, rather than like like um caterers or anything like that just because you know you can stock them it's really fast you don't have to 
worry about the caterer putting the food on some like random place or not doing their job or anything like that you could just go in stock the table and you're set and then I also put in a drinks fountain if you guys maybe want to fill it with like chocolate or fruit punch or whatever and yeah then there's just a bunch of tables and everything like that and I put in this really long table now this is something that I actually saw Miss Griffey do over on one of her streams probably like a month ago by now but basically she built this like really pretty beach wedding venue and she put this table in her wedding venue that was just a table with a bunch of presents on it like wedding gifts and I thought it would be cool to kind of incorporate that into this build as well obviously if you guys want to maybe use that table for like extra seating or anything like that you can just go in and delete the presents they're not functional they're just the like decorative presents that came with I think the free holiday pack so yeah you can easily turn that table into like seating or you can just delete it completely and maybe put a couch in there or something like that but yeah I really like the way this build turned out I had a lot of fun building it and just playing around with different stuff I was super indecisive with this build honestly I built it over like I think I built it over the span of maybe like three days or something like that and every time I came back to it I saw something that I either didn't like or that I wanted to change or something that I wanted to add <laughs> so yeah it took me quite a while to like get this build to look the way that I pictured it to look so yeah but as you guys can see We've moved on to like the landscaping part of it and this is where I'm doing that like garden area that I told you guys about. So we have this one big like flower bed in the middle that's actually going to be around a really big fountain that's in a heart shape. Just ignore these tiny hearts that I'm putting down. I end up deleting them and just replacing them with like round flower beds because I thought all of these hearts were just a little bit too much. But I do end up keeping the middle one. So the middle one actually ends up being like a bunch of pretty like pink and white flowers and a really big fountain. And all of the other ones like the circle ones all have their own like centerpieces. I think I used that flower fountain from Romantic Garden in two of them and just some of these like topiary bushes in the other two I think. I think that's what I did. <laughs> Honestly, I can't remember exactly what I did because I finished this build maybe like three or four days ago by now and I just can't remember what I've done. But yeah, I also go through the debug menu and pick out quite a few of the like wall pieces. So like the ruin pieces. If you guys have played with Get Together, you probably know these, but there are the ruin pieces that are like in the ruins lot and in the like bluffs area of Windenburg. So like the big, they look like castle ruins basically, like plain just walls. And I put those at the back of the chapel, like in the, like two corners, two, like the two back corners. Kind of like in my head, there might have been like a really big like castle or something on this lot like hundreds of years ago and those are the only walls that you know are still there from that old castle and instead of tearing it down they've just left it there left it there and built the church kind of like in the center of it or maybe in the past the church was a lot bigger or something and those are the only like remnants of the older building if that makes sense maybe that maybe they were walls that used to surround the church or something along those lines honestly i didn't really give it too too much thought i just thought it looked cool and i kind of wanted to use those so i did but yeah we have moved on to the landscaping and like i said i do show some of it to you guys but i think i cut out a lot of the like flower beds i think I think I might show you like the big like hot one in the middle but the other ones I think I cut out and yeah I do go in a bunch of times and change all of the colors of the flowers because for some reason I just couldn't decide if I wanted it to have more red landscaping or more pink landscaping so yeah I don't know it took me a while to figure out everything out but I really like the way it turned out in the end and I don't know I just I really like this build and it is up on the gallery if you guys do want to download it it's up on the gallery under hashtag ChrissyYT 
hashtag Chrissy York or hashtag Rebold Windenberg. And you can also find it by just searching for my gallery ID, which is Chrissy YT. And all of that information, if you guys are ever curious, like my gallery ID, hashtags you can use to search for my builds, stuff like that. All of that is always linked in the description down below. It's always written out and everything. And I will remember to put a direct download link to the online gallery website in the description for you guys as well, if that's easier for you to download it. I know the last build that went up on the channel was... I actually can't remember the last build that went up on the channel. But basically I didn't include the download link because I was having issues with the gallery website. I'll go back and add it. But yeah, all of my all of these builds are already up on the gallery. So yeah, if you guys just want to search for it like in-game, you can do that. But yeah, we've started working with these like ruin pieces that I mentioned. And they're kind of difficult to work with because... A lot of them are like see-through on the sides because they're meant to be stacked and they're meant to have like end pieces and it just took me a while to figure out what end pieces you know fit with which one and you know how to orient them and stuff like that but I really like the way it turned out and it kind of looks like the surrounding landscape has reclaimed them a little bit and I really like that so yeah, I really like the way this build turned out, you guys. And yeah, I hope you guys like how it turned out as well. If you did, give this video a like. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button. And remember to turn on the notification bell as well to be notified of whenever I upload a new video. But yeah, I think I'm just going to leave this voiceover off here, you guys. There's like less than a minute left of this video, I think. So yeah, I think I'm just going to leave you with some music over the last little landscaping bit that we're doing. And... I will talk to you guys all in my very next video. Bye guys.